this uh, young man came over and asked me a question about my car here. This car was built by Ray Olson, an 80-year-old man, an eight-year build. It starts out with a 37 Studebaker, then it goes into the front end as a 2000 XJ8 Jaguar. Then it goes into a brand new LS3 from the factory crate motor with a 4L65E. And then the Studebaker is cut in half. They put in a 36 in the middle, stretch the doors four inches, put on an extra tire on the front. It's got a 55 Plymouth dash, 37 to 39 running boards off a Ford truck. Well, Ray Olson did that. He would never put a, a marker on it so you didn't know what it was. And everybody, everybody asked, what is it? And that was his main idea. Wow. Yeah. I didn't see any badges on it. No, sir, nothing at all. No, but it's got a 55 Dodge, 55 Plymouth, like I say, 37 to 39 Ford. It's even got an Isuzu gas tank. At rear end's a 2006 GTO independent suspension rear end. Oh, is that right? How about brakes on it? All four wheel disc, GTO Jaguar disc on it, so it's four, four wheel disc all the way around. What a, what a sleeper this is. It is, and it's just an absolutely beautiful car, and I can't begin to tell you how much more there's so much I can't tell you at all. Yes, sir, it's a total of redone interior, all in leather. The trunk, everything's done. Right here in Las Vegas. Yes, it was an eight-year build right in his backyard in his, in his garage, yep. He painted it, he did everything through the whole thing. It's an amazing little car. Like I said, I can't tell you half of what's in it. I'm still learning. The back window is very interesting. Back window is original. Back in 37, they had a regular window, but in 36 they actually came out, and the back window in 36 also came out so that the air would flow through. So this is a 37, actually off a of Hurst. This is a 36, and then it goes back to a 37 in the back window again. So when they cut the doors, they cut the doors in half. They flip-flopped them so you would get a complete contour. So it's kind of a one of a kind. The fender's been wrapped around the front, stretched in the back. Hollywood Graham bumpers. Oh, really? Yes, sir. 59 Cadillac taillights with, yes. with 55 Dodge bezels. So it's quite a few different cars. I'll have to play the Johnny Cash song. One piece at a time. <laughs> and, that's, <laughs> and that's what it was, too. Are they stocked to the car? Yes, sir, they are. Yep. Well, you know, and I shouldn't say that because the next thing you know, he's going to correct me when I get home. <laughs> so, what, what plans do you have for the car? Just to keep upgrading it and keep playing with it. And He said that I could bring it up a level, but I don't believe it. There's nothing, everything I wanted to change, he's already done. I think the level's there. I think it is. Yeah. Uh, everybody wants to know what it is and just what it is. And hard to explain, but it's kind of fun to do it. <laughs> In fact, I'm going to get one of the little signs and put it out in front, and I said I'd never do that because oh, yeah. I'm getting tired of trying to explain the same story over again. <laughs> you need a roll of, have a roller yeah. sign. But all the people are absolutely wonderful. This is Yes, sir, we drove through last week just for a minute. Okay. It literally has less than 200 miles on it. Really? Yes, sir. Wow. So, so the performance has got to be outstanding. 430 horse, and then it's got the 465 LA tranny, so it's really a good stand-up transmission. Very good. We're going to take it across the United States and different car shows and just have fun with it. We plan on driving it. Next time we're down at the car show, come out and take a look at the car. We love it. And once again, Ray Olson was the builder of this car, and he's an amazing man. We call him Dr. Frankenstein. <laughs>